What's going on everyone? It's Dungeon here and I'm coming at you with a beast mode Elden Ring walkthrough. We're going to be going through this thing and I'm going to show you guys how to get super OP in this game. So, first thing we got to do is start off a new game. Let's get into it. Now, I will say that I actually I always start these things pretty much as deprived as wretch as a nobody you know and that's that's typically what I do all right and it's not because um, of anything other than like this is this is just the way that I I do it um, a lot of people like to get some power right off the bat but me personally no nah, I gotta build myself up from nothing that is how I like to roll all right so, <clears throat> I do have a base template that I, let's see here, yes, alright, let me load up my favorite, and here we go. Of course, we're going to get a keepsake, and get a golden seed, and that's all we got, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start this thing. So, um... I may be doing some things that some of you might think are like, whoa, dungeon, that is some serious stuff. Look, I, I, I don't pull punches. I do what I do because I feel like in the long run, it's going to be beneficial. Um, I haven't completely planned this thing out, but I have a few suspicions that I might go to some mid to late game areas, like in the first few episodes and stuff. If you want to see that, let me know, because I am more than happy to start doing some of that nonsense. So, um, let's get to it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and skip that stuff, because we don't have time. I'm on a time frame, like I say in all my videos, I'm on a time frame. So... We're not going to mess around. We're going to get the stuff here. All right. Now, I will say that I have been doing a Dark Souls 3 playthrough, and the controls are very different. There is no dedicated jump button in Dark Souls 3, so I'm going to have to get used to that, actually. Okay. You guys probably played this before, and you know... Actually, something interesting that you might not know is that when that's happening, when you see that uh, the leaves falling from the uh, from the tree, um, you might notice that in the top left corner, um, you you'll be getting extra uh, XP or whatever. So I'm not even gonna play around. I, I'm probably not gonna defeat him. That's okay. That's not a problem. Um, if you have, uh, like if you picked a class, then, you know, you could probably give it a few tries, and, um, you might be able to actually defeat him, you know, first off. I've seen, I've seen people do it. Um, unfortunately, though, he doesn't really have anything that I want, so it's, like, not really a point, you know. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, now we are going to hopefully try to skip this stuff as fast as I can and um, I'll go through the little tutorial area too you guys for just just to go through it kinda sorta maybe I shouldn't I don't know um, this is where you get like those seeds obviously <clears throat> and I'm gonna be coming back to this area actually there's something very important for this playthrough that I'm going to be grabbing here and um, so yeah we'll go through we'll come back to that and um, I tell you I played this game I don't know how many times all the way through from start to finish and um, let me go ahead and rest now I will say when this game first came out they didn't have these little things right here the little bullets to remind you that you can do things, you can like get more flasks or use use the um, the tears or whatever it was. So um, yeah, that that is kind of a nice thing because I played I probably played uh, several times through before they even added that. And I tell you, I know I don't know how many times that that actually became a problem because um, I actually had like I was sitting on a whole bunch of those things and. Uh, I wasn't using them because I didn't I just you know 
I mean, you just don't think about it, you know? So, anyhow. Let's see how fast we can go through this, actually. And kill everything. With a club, no less. You guys are probably like, the club is probably one of the worst. It is actually one of the worst weapons. It's got like a terrible moveset. It's awful. The only the only thing that's got going for him is that the club has um my goodness. The club has strike damage. And strike damage can be pretty good against certain enemies. Alright, hold on a second. There we go. Alright, cool. And we're just gonna run right by, grab this. Ah, bro. And for those who don't know, jumping attacks is the way to go. That's the way to go. <clears throat> um, in a lot of things, it's, it adds more damage, adds more poise damage, is just all around super good. So, it's just good to use. Good strategy. All right, and you break someone's poise. You know, obviously, you can visceral attack them. How dare you try to attack me? You don't even know who I am. I'm going beast mode over here, guys. Sneak through the bushes, you know. Get my backstab in. All right. So let's go f defeat this uh, this boss here. And which really, I think it's just like a regular dude. Actually, it's just like a regular, a regular um, enemy. But it's like, yo, this is a boss. This ain't a boss. I'm a boss. Check it out. Look at that. You didn't even know you was fighting a boss, bruh. Just like that. And now we're through it. So that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Oh no! I hit the jump button. Alright, I'll come back and grab that later. That's nothing. It's nonsense. All this Dark Souls 3. All this Dark Souls 3 gaming I've been doing. They uh, What they did is they switched the X button for the triangle button so that you can actually have a dedicated jump. Which I really, really, really do appreciate. I don't know why that took so long. I probably could have used some of those um, runes that I got. Let's see, how many do I have? 500. I think I have enough to gain a level. I always want to, like, press the X button to do stuff. But that's alright. Now, this dude right here. For those of you who don't know, this guy right here has a... Um, a very 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 good quest line that you definitely want to do because you can get super OP beast mode by talking to him all right you might not think it but um and he I will say he slanders you often there's a uh, memes going around about him being like oh maiden list like yeah man yeah I mean so just talk to him as much you can but yeah man the whole maiden list thing he's like yo man you're a, you're a noob, dude. You ain't even got a lady. So, first thing we gotta do in this game is uh, get off of your feet and get onto a horse. Um, you don't want to go straight through the middle because there's that dude right there, and he'll probably wreck you. Especially for someone who's like, uh, I think I'm officially level one. Yeah, I'm officially level one. So. Um, be ill-advised 
to be fighting him on level one with no armor. Uh, I mean, if you call it a weapon, I guess. But, uh, pick that up. Let's see, let's talk to him. Alright, brother. First thing I'm gonna do, go through his little quest lines, uh, dialogue, get his recommendation. And we're gonna come back here several times because there's some interesting stuff about this dude that, um, let's see, I want that first. And, uh, yeah, I should probably take that just in case. All right, we should be good. All right, let's uh, touch this. All right, so um, now we have a couple sites of grace. And uh, if, if you never knew about this, um, when you take a look at the map, it'll show you where the next site of grace is. So th th it's like, I don't know, man. This game is, it's cool and everything, but it's like, it's easy, but there are some seriously weird, like, difficulty spikes in this game. Like, um... Like, it'll be... You'll be going through, and it'll be like, no problem at all, and then you'll get to an enemy that, like, is just so... Like, it'll just straight up kill you, you know? So, I mean, it's kind of cool because of that. So, like, it doesn't matter how good you are. You, you'll still end up having... Going through difficulty at, from time to time. But... It just seems like... I don't know. It's all good. Oh, goodness. That X button, man. Killing me. Ooh, yeah. That was a good drop. I'm gonna beat you over the head with a club. Alright, of course, I don't need to fight these guys. But I want to, um, you know. Uh, since I'm here, I might as well come over here. I'm not gonna go through it, but what I am gonna do, and you'll see me do this a lot, actually. This is just the way that I do it. It makes it easy. Uh, for me, at least, it makes it easy. Maybe for you, it doesn't make it easy. I don't know. Me personally, that's what I do. So, um, I'll go through when I, um, I'll, I'll survey a whole entire area first. I'll check out the overworld of the whole entire area. And then once I have gotten everything above, like, ground, then I'll start to go into dungeons and stuff like that. But uh, while I'm surveying the area, a lot of times what I'll end up doing is, um, I'll touch. I'll get to the bonfires for these areas, and um, typically what I'll do, and I'll show you here in a second. Once I get to this um, site of grace, I will uh, mark it on my map that I haven't actually done it yet. So here, right here, what I'll do is mark it with some sort of marking, you know, showing that like I have to go back and do that. And for me, that it's it's kind of really good, uh, so that I don't like miss things, even things in the overworld. Like I ain't gonna listen to this. Um, uh, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear this. For those of you who've never played, you probably like du dungeon. You're giving some serious disrespect to the uh, storylines in this game, and it's like, dude, I, I played this game a bunch of times. Um. You know, I, and oh, goodness gracious, man. Uh, let's see. I don't even think I have enough for that. No, I don't. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, I have defeated this game. I I mean, this is one of those games that's like, <clears throat> out of all the Frontsoft games, this is one of the easiest games to get a platinum in. So, all right, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and switch this up. Uh, this is what I want here. I have a very specific uh, um, pouch um, setting that I'll that I'll use. Um, I don't believe I have anything else to put in there just yet, but 
Um, I usually put my summons in there and a couple other things. So, cool thing is you can like easily sneak in this game. It's, just, it's like awesome, man. So there's just a few things here that I want here before we go on, because now that we have the um, now that we have the uh, horse or the steed, I should say, torrent. Um, we can we can do some cool things, but uh, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna loot first, um, and I'll come back to this area. Actually, you know that I'll do that a lot. Actually, you guys are probably like, dude, it's gonna take forever. Are uh, they? Do they see me? Moving too fast. I'm gonna jump out of the woods here, like a ninja. Actually, you know what? No, forget that. I'm just gonna. Scoot, scooch on by. Alright, one of them sees me. Whatever. Oh, that dude still sees me. I don't know, man. Uh, I will say that I have been, like, kind of paying attention to the, um... I, I've actually played a playthrough in a couple months, but I have been paying attention. Oh boy! I have been paying attention to the uh, what you call it updates, and um, they have done a decent. They've they've been lately trying to do a pretty decent job to get this thing kind of balanced out, especially for PVE and PVP, but. Um, the, like the difference between the two, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that that is kind of appreciated. Um, there was a few things, <clears throat> there was a few things in this game that was like kind of broken, man. Like, uh, I think the last couple playthroughs, I was using the, um, uh, I think it's called the Flame of the Red Main or something like that, uh, Ash of War, and that thing was absolutely broken, man. You only use it twice and you stagger any boss, like any boss, like, that doesn't make any sense actually is what it is so grab that uh, side of grace matter of fact no 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 no. hold on a second there's something very important that I need to talk to you guys about um, especially early game <clears throat> you do not want to um, be traveling around during the uh, nighttime alright there are special uh, like hidden bosses that you can encounter at night. There are extra monsters at night. Um, there are even chances. This is going to become very relevant, but there are chances that you can get elite monsters at night, um, and those those will be tougher and they will grant you more runes. But um, someone like myself, who's being a zero to hero build, um, we, you know, we won't be careful first off, you know, early on. So <clears throat> there's a reason why I'm coming here. Uh, most of you guys probably like, you know, there's no reason to come this way, but for me, personally, there's a few things that are very important in this direction, alright? Um, and you gotta be careful because uh, when you come this way, there is a, uh, there is a few dogs that come here, and like right here, some wolves, and if you're not careful, these dudes... So, like, I'll get off the horse right here. And, uh, if I'm not quick enough, I won't be able to rest at this. And I'll have to, like, run away. Alright. Yeah, see how they just jumped over the thing? There have been a few times I try to do that to reset the area. And then they're already here. So, then you can't. Because you can't use a bonfire if there's enemies right next to you. So. Or a sight of grace, I should say. Alright. So, let's talk to this person. She's about to give us some stuff here. Um, not like right now, but soon. Soon. Very, very, very soon. You guys probably like, Dungeon, it takes a long time to get that stuff. No, no, no. Alright, 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 alright. Enough. I've heard enough from you. Um... Let's see what I want to do. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. 
Um, is it this way? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm not interested in killing any of these guys, but I am interested in grabbing stuff on the way. Um, if they hit me, I probably would die, actually. Again, level one, you know, got that whole level one thing going on. Okay, so, we'll come back. Um, let's go to the map. We're gonna come back now that we have that side of grace. Where is our... Here it is. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, because you've never seen the maps and stuff like that, like, there are places where you grab maps. And I will be grabbing all the maps. I just... I don't need the maps because I know where everything's at. But for you, maybe you need them. You know what I mean? Um, I do like to have them. You know what I mean? I do like to have the maps. It kind of it's just like an easy. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, this chick actually um, really cool quest line. We're gonna end up doing this quest line too. Oh my goodness, man! I'm t I gotta get off that X button. All right. All right, all right, all right. So let's do this. Um, let's do that. And let's do. Because we really don't have anything else to put in there. Let's do that. And we should be good. Actually, dude, stop talking to me. All right. All right, all right. Oh my goodness, man. Alright, just because, that's all, I mean, I don't believe I picked up any armor yet. No, no, I ain't got nothing. Okay, so, um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the side of Grace. We gotta get some levels. So I'm gonna show you a real, real, real easy way to do that. And, uh, what else do I need to do? Talk to this chick. I don't want to, but I have to, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I, I talk to her again. Alright, cool. So, um, let's go here. Let's see what I'm going to do here next. Oh, actually, I don't even have to do that. In Dark Souls, you do have to use a Sight of Grace or a Bonfire in order to warp. In this one, you could just do whatever. As long as you're not in a dungeon um, that has not been conquered. If you if you defeat an entire dungeon, then you can warp out of it and stuff like that. But So, yeah. Okay, so next thing we're going to do. Alright. One step closer to being to getting on our beast mode. Way, kind of keep our distance from that. Most people probably didn't know about that. You got to talk to, to Bach. Bach is kind of cool because uh, he will, he's like a seamstress, you know what I'm saying? Or a seamster, I don't know what. Seamster, I think that's what it would be. I'm pretty sure he's a dude. Um, so, complete his dialogue. I think that's pretty good. And then, um, looks like it's nighttime, man. I don't want to be running around at nighttime. Um, I will say this, though. Whenever you see these, it's uh, pretty advised to kill them. Because they have they pretty good drop rate for, this, uh, for these beast bones. And... Um, me personally, I a lot of times will use. All right, I, I don't understand how it's always night in this world. That doesn't make any sense. It's like nighttime at the worst. I mean, I don't know where we're located on this globe, but it shouldn't always be nighttime. You know what I'm saying? I just turned it to daytime. Anyways. She still wants to talk to me? What do you want to talk to me about? I'll tell you. Um, 
Oh my goodness, what's going on? Oh man, that lady. That lady just wanna talk, man. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that's that's very uncharacteristic. Uh you know. Female wanna talk. I can't believe it. it's crazy. Alright, so let's go. Here we are. All right. All right. Got to get that Ash of War, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what? I have a feeling. I have a feeling these guys are willing to give me part with some of their armor actually. All right, all right, all right. Got to be very careful cuz these guys can actually stun lock me. Um, the big guy no, but these little guys Hey, little guys, they can. They have... Alright, one more hit on that guy. That's the move. That's the move. It's the wild swings. Give me some armor, bro. Oh, my goodness. I should turn off all the tips, you know? I'm tired of seeing that nonsense. Oh, no! Alright, detour. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Oh, yeah, I know where we're at. We don't want to go that way. That would be ill-advised to go that way. Um, because there is an NPC invader that way. So, I don't really feel like doing that nonsense. That's alright, not a problem. There's a way to go about this. Pretty sure. Oh, you don't want to actually want these. Pretty sure I should be able to jump. Make this jump right here. Let's see. Uh, negative. Okay. Let's go around. There we go. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to fuck mess with them. I don't want to fight them really. I do. Just <clears throat> not a level one. Not a level one. My my broskies. Alright, we have a mission, and that mission is to make our way to the, I believe it's the 4th Church of America, that's the one that we're trying to get to, um, let's, let's grab this, it's a trap, it's nothing, I think it's just like string or something, yeah, it's nothing really, but, you know, can't leave it there, it's a drop. Alright, so I'm going to show you something real cool, actually. Um, if I can find this side of grace. I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is something really cool. For those of you who are looking to have more of the golden fingers, um, this is something real easy to do. As long as I don't get hit by these dudes, I should be okay. They'll probably one-shot me at this point in the game. But, um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you nonetheless. What you do, you can get a whole bunch of these, like, uh, gold-tinged, I don't know, no, no, not gold-tinged. They're the, um, I don't know what they are. Oh, the golden flies. Golden fireflies. And then you just scoot on back. Looks like I aggroed someone. Uh, sometimes those big ones, the rune bears, I think they're called, they will chase you, but uh, you should be able to get to the side of grace and hit it before um, they get to you. So, uh, so you can get a bunch of those, and then the only other thing that you'll need is the, uh, not the feathers, they're the, um, the claws, the little bird claws, um, and, uh, I got a real good area to get those too, so this way you can always get extra extra runes whenever you defeat a boss and stuff. Forget him. All right, so early on, oh, I heard it. Ah, oh, that's nothing. I'll get it anyways. Ah, oh, forget it. That one, those red ones will actually just uh, refill your your um, flasks. 
uh, red flask, prison tier flasks. So that's uh, I do need. There is one nearby that I definitely want. I'm gonna show you guys. This is one of the best early game Ashes of War. So I'll show you that here in a second. First thing I gotta do, grab this, and then grab this. All right, and now let's go ahead and mix them up. So we got some stuff we can do now. Get the flask going. And what else do we need to do? My goodness, man, this lady constantly want to talk. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever noticed that she has wanted to talk so much, man. Oh my goodness. Um, and also, we got to do this. Interesting. It doesn't remind me to do that. That's uh, seem seemingly pretty important. Um, and I'm actually going to... Oh, it already is. I was going to put on my item bar, but it's already on my item bar, so we're good to go. Alright. So something we got to do over here is... Get this Ash of War. This is, like I said, this is early game. My favorite Ash of War. You'll see why in here in a second. All right. Okay, so we'll put that on here in just a second. First thing I gotta do is come over in this way. Maybe you guys never seen this before. Um, early on, people didn't know about it. Nowadays, I think pretty much everyone knows about it. But if you've never seen it, this is the plan. All right. Told you we're gonna go beast mode, so you know we gotta make things happen. We gotta stick and move. You know what I'm saying? So we are gonna end up going to one of the. It's at, technically, I think it's classified as one of the later game um, areas. Uh, you go here after. Um, Limgrave? This, uh, shoot, what's the sec? The swampy area. It's after the swampy area. You probably want to come here so that you can get get some things. But I will say this: that um, you know, some people won't complete this whole area until they get through most of the capital. So, um, all right, let's go. All right, all right, beast mode. Now I will say this has nothing to do with my playthrough. That this is called the Beast Sanctum, <laughs> just so you guys know. All right, we're gonna talk to this dude real quick. Um, look, all I gotta say about this guy, for those of you who haven't played this game, is uh, don't trust him too much. All right, he'll be helping you out and stuff, but yeah. All right, so. Um, if you try to attack that dude right there, most certainly will perish, like, for sure. Like, I, you know what, I would like to see someone, soul level 1, defeat that dude without any upgraded weapons or any armor or anything like that. A lot of people are like, oh, soul level 1, but they have, they have all the upgraded stuff, and, I mean, you have a, you probably take one hit and you're dead, so I guess the armor doesn't really matter, but. But yeah, it's nice to have an upgraded weapon, so that always helps. As long as you don't get hit. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Now we are in um, Kaled. And I'm going to show you guys a couple tricks in Kaled. There's some stuff here that I definitely want. Um, so, first thing I do, hit this bonfire. And honestly, what's funny is that I'm so weak, I'm so low level, that if I were to attack a, oh my goodness, she's going to ask me already. I, I, uh, I'm going to go, I'll go, I'll go, fine, fine, fine. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, let's go. Alright, she's going to take us to the round table. Um, we're just going to go, and I'm not going to talk to everyone oh my goodness can we not have a moment okay so we're gonna go to a round table and uh, there's a bunch of um, ally NPCs in this area okay a bunch of them so because of that um, there's a lot of opportunities there, there are a lot of like they'll be selling us stuff you know what I'm saying like I, I, they're cool, but they also are like, you know, trying to make up coins off of us and stuff like that. Except for this dude. This dude is legit. Like, honestly, 
he, he he's got like like a I would say a very um, true heart. This guy, all right. Uh, his quest line, his quest line is very good. I would say out of all of these NPCs here, this is probably the one I would trust the most if I had to. You know what I'm saying? Um, the rest of these dudes are kind of shady a little bit. Um, this guy, I will say, this guy, this guy is also pretty true. Honestly, this dude right here. He's all about business, man. He ain't even... Uh, he ain't even trying to mess around. First thing I want to do is put this on this. Alright. And, uh... Hold on a second. Actually... Hold on a second. I can go standard, or I can go... Sacred. Uh... I'll just keep it standard, actually. Now it does do holy damage, but um, and I, I didn't even talk to her yet. That's I didn't even want to talk to her. Um, if you listen, I'll say this: if you talk to her, make sure you get rid of whatever she gives you. All right, it's not helpful. Um, this dude. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Um, he actually, if you're doing like a intelligence and faith build, then. Um, Oh man, I gotta talk to him. He'll actually sell you some cool stuff. There's a few spells that he has that are really good. Um, the thing is they do holy damage. And that's like good and bad because holy damage early on can be helpful. There's a number of areas where there are skeletons that will revive. And holy damage does extra damage and keeps them from reviving. Um, uh, this person, you can purchase uh, ma all manner of different stuff. We are going to end up getting most of the stuff that this person... Not not the weapons necessarily, but the other stuff. We'll get most of the other stuff that, that this person... The dual maidens. I don't know what they're called. Um, so, and this dude, don't trust him either. This dude is... Uh, you know what? I wouldn't necessarily say don't trust him. I would just say he's kind of a butthead, man. I don't like him at all. Uh, this person's quest line. Let's see here. Uh, we'll just lie about it. I don't know. This person sells the um, incantations, so it's like for faith builds and stuff like that. We'll be getting close with that guy. Uh, he's got an interesting quest line. And actually, I didn't need to do that. Let's just get out of here. All right, let's go back to where we was at. You guys are like, where were you at? Right here. All the way on the other side of the world. Super far away from um, the first area. So, um, we are going to make our path. We have to make sure that it's morning time. If it's not morning time, it's not good. We don't want it to not be morning time. There is a few really, really... Uh, is it a few? There's at least one really, really powerful enemy that will turn up at night in this area. So we don't... Definitely don't want to do that. So we'll check it out. Make sure it's morning. All right. <clears throat> so still level one, but that's okay. By the way, these dudes, these little uh, munchkins, or uh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called, but um, they, I'll tell you, they're ferocious though. They are. They, I, I, if you can backstab them though, they will. Um, they will net you a lot of runes, man. I think it's over a thousand. Um, and be careful, there's a whole bunch of poison traps around in the area. But, um... Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, like I said, don't come in this area. Nighttime could be pretty bad for you. Um, Alright, let's go, let's go. Moving along. We've got couple things here that I want first thing I want is this right here this bonfire and the second thing actually is kind of three things I'm gonna show you something really cool actually two oh my goodness there's like four things really cool in this area right here all right so first thing if you didn't know you could do that if you jump near those things you'll go super high all right second thing 
these graveyards, you probably noticed these graveyards, graveyards will actually have a bunch of runes stacked near them. Should have called them souls, honestly, instead of runes. Especially because it's near a graveyard, you know? So, yeah, about to say I thought there was one more. Okay, now, hopefully I don't die when I do this. But, as long as you get close to that circle down there, when you jump, you'll, you'll land no problem. Now, we're going to jump again. Alright, and this is a, this is like just a little trick, kind of, sort of. Um, most of these uh, wizard towers can be, uh, you can, you can go through them without actually solving the riddle so it's kind of like uh there's like a riddle you can solve to do certain things or you can like mechanically solve the riddle on uh, like just looking around the outside and try to try to sneak in or whatever i think there's like one that you cannot do that so <sighs> x button all right so now i've got an extra memory stone i should be able to memorize like two spells now which is super cool um uh easy way to get out of here would be to just uh warp out you know because otherwise you'll have to like jump off of something and you know you don't land right you die and it's like uh, it's just a pain you just don't want that to happen all right so now we're at the bonfire and um the whole time i was like hey we need to we need to make sure that it's uh daytime now we want nighttime. Those of you who are like, dude, are you gonna early fight that guy down here? No. Nope, I am not. What I'm gonna do is uh, hope for a chance. There's a very slight chance that uh, the thing that spawns here, for those who don't know, this is a very easy early way to gain runes. So that thing spawns, it comes out, falls down, and as long as you're near it, it'll give you about 2,000 runes every single time you do that. Now, here's the thing. The reason why it's nighttime is because, like I said earlier, at night, there's a chance for elite enemies. Alright? So, I'll, I'll do it like one or two times. three, Maybe three. It, it'd be cool if I got that elite one because what'll happen is it'll... Um, it will give you, I think, like four or five times the amount of runes or something crazy. Let's see how much extra. No, nope, didn't get it. <clears throat> so it, it's a lot more. You, it's noticeable, actually. So um, what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to check to see how much time I have left in this first episode. I'm going to farm up a little bit on this right here. And then um, we'll see where we're at. All right, guys. All right, everyone, I am back, and I spent about 10, 15 minutes farming that area. I went to the round table. I picked up a couple spells, which actually I probably should memorize. Um, I also bought a memory stone, so I probably have more slots than I have spells. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, so put in heal, put in flame sling. Actually, let me switch those up because... Um, for those of you who don't really know, if you hold, <clears throat> when you're trying to cycle your um, spells, like if you hold up, if you hold up, then you'll automatically cycle to the first one. So that's kind of that's kind of good to have a certain whatever particular spell you might need in a pinch up in the first one. And the other thing I'll do is actually just put that on the other hand. All right. Um, so yeah, I bought some spells, I bought, um, the, uh, memory stone, and now I'm going to buy all three of these, buy this, 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 and I still have some to spare, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, hold on a second, actually, now I would like it to be daytime, so then what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm on a time frame here, there's... Um, let's go to morning. Oh, look at that. Already morning. Pretty much. Okay. So now, let's get out of here. 
There's uh, a couple things I want to buy still. And then there's a shield that we want to get. I don't know if I'll have enough time in this episode to get the shield. It's a very easy shield to come across. Um, now, you could... You could fight... Um, this dude coming up right here. I just am going to ignore him. Um, it's just not worth it, honestly. I mean, given I can... I can get... Uh, probably the same, if not more, souls from doing that little uh, Indiana Jones ball rolling thing. So it's just not worth it. Um, this, there's a trick to these. If you, if you hold the, yeah, if you hold the, the R2 button or heavy attack when you're riding on your horse, then you can actually just kind of attack those dudes. Pretty, pretty easy. All right. Riding on my horse. There's actually nothing there. There's no point for me to even be there, looks like. Um, Early on, this is a decent spot to kill these dudes, these uh, little birds, because you can get, um, let me try to do this here, you can get drops, there it is, the feather, um, and I will say, if you find any in the water, they typically don't run away if they're in the water, which is kind of interesting, I will ignore those dudes, um, the sea creature tentacle monsters. I'm not going to mess with those. Get some ruin fragments. And um, this world is really, really big. The first time I played through, I, I searched every nook and cranny, man. And I, I, I mean it, too. Every little detail I searched. So what we're going to do is just come here. Since we're in the area, this is actually really, really, really good. To, I should have kept that torch. <laughs> and here's Bach again. I'm going to touch the grace. I'm going to rest at the grace because there's a bunch of <clears throat> goblins or something chasing after me. So I'm going to reset them. Talk to him. He's going to be like, yo, I just got roughed up by the boss in this area. And I'm like, okay, cool, man. I'll help you out. I'll check it out. But uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. Um... And actually, I should probably put that torch back on. There we go. Yeah, now I can see. You know, that's important. So, um, we are going to make our way out of here. And we got to go to a merchant. Alright, so. This merchant... will actually sell some really, really, really good stuff. All right, if you want another club, maybe you want to dual wield the club for some reason, grab it. I wouldn't if I was you. I always pick up the stones whenever I can. Um, you might do well to pick these up. I am not going to. We can make them soon, just not yet. And the broadsword is a super duper good weapon. Um, broadsword is always a good weapon in FromSoft games, and this is uh, this will not let you down. So I'm actually going to <laughs> not buy it. I'm gonna buy the short bow because I need it, and um, yeah, I'll buy some arrows too. Actually, I'm not gonna spend all my money in arrows. I guess maybe I will buy this. Forget it. Forget about it. And um, uh, yeah, I'll spend the rest of my money in arrows. Because arrows are helpful. That's why. Um, now, let's equip the bow. And we're going to come over here since we're in the area. Um, there is a something over here that's really, really good. Um, we'll be able to craft them, but, you know, that's all right. We'll get what we can get while we can get them that all right now there's monsters coming we are gonna ignore them and let's see here oh 
Uh oh. Oh, all right. Let's try again. I wasn't sure if I could make it all the way up. You can make it sort of the way up. And now I can make it all the way up. Not that I need to, honestly. Because I'm going to warp out of here anyways. All right. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. So one last thing I want to do. And that's this. Got to go to the War Master Shack. So I can get full on beast mode, you guys. Um, I need to get a, I need to get a shield. I don't have a shield. Um, now, for a lot of this playthrough, I'm probably not going to really use a shield. But um, early on, very, very good idea to have a shield. So, and it's always good. It's actually always a good idea to at least have a shield. Whether you're going to use it, that's, you know, that's a choice. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's that. So, uh, this is what I'm going to do. Just because we're running out of time. I'll fight these guys and whatever um, in the next, maybe the next episode or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll fight them now. But that's, inside there is what I want. Alright, let me... Let me go ahead and summon these dogs. Dog's gonna help me out. Now, honestly, you don't have to kill, like, pretty much anything in the overworld. There you go, now I got a shield. This is actually a really good shield early on. Because it will um, give you 100% resistance. Let's out the dogs. There we go. There we go. All right. And that's pretty much that. What, oh, they dropped something. Probably some meat or something. Yeah. Blood. Alright, one last thing. Now that I got this, and then I'm going to call it. Um, very early on, you can grab this cool thing. Just make sure it's not nighttime when you come around this way. Speaking of which, I'm going to mark this area. Because you come around here at night. There's an enemy. Alright, so I don't want to aggro everyone, but I do want to aggro someone. This is how you do this, if you didn't know. Oh, come on, give me that. There we go. So I got some stones. And I'm out of here. I am out of here. All right. Um, and I'm still not going to use any of the stones. I just have them. I will use them just on not some mundane weapon. I'm going to use them on a good weapon. So, other thing. Uh, let me rest here. Also, don't come here at night. Uh, I'll put a thing on my, on my map, too, for this area. Because... There's an enemy here, too. So, that's pretty much all I have for the first episode. I've got uh, cool, a bunch of cool stuff. And here's my statistics before I before I leave out. Um, this is what I'm rolling with. I'm pumping out my Vigor. I'm going to get that to 40 before I pretty much do most of anything else. Uh, as long as I can use weapons that I want to use. Alright, you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. As always, thanks. Bye, everyone.